Welcome to Good Bites Takeout. This is the show where I make the most of the fact that I can't go out to eat, so instead I order in. Now today, I've got something that I'm very excited about, something that I've been dying to try. Venezuelan arepas. Arepas have exploded in popularity over the last couple of years over in the US, mainly in food trucks, but I did manage to track down one of the very few Venezuelan restaurants in Montreal that makes them, a family-run restaurant called Bocadillo. For context here, arepas are kind of like a mix between a pancake and a tortilla. They're huge in South American cuisine, and depending on what you stuff them with, you can eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, hell, even dessert. Let's get to the order. The India, shredded beef with fresh white cheese and avocado slices. The Vegana, avocado slices, tomato, black beans, and fried plantains. And the Pavillon Especial, shredded beef, black beans, avocado, white fresh cheese, and fried plantains. All right, I've got them right here, but before I get to the sandwiches, I just wanna show you. They come with fries, yes, but they also come with plantains, which is a nice change of pace from the usual fries or onion rings choices. I'm gonna start off with the Pavillon Especial, mainly because it just, it's got everything I'm looking for. You got some avocado, you got the shredded beef, you got the cheese, it just looks, it looks beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. I can already tell just one of these would fill you up. This is really good. My immediate takeaway, which by the way, I forgot to mention, these smell amazing. The flavors and the kind of, I don't know, spices, the ingredients that they're using here are stuff that I'm not usually putting in my mouth. I'm just gonna break off a chunk of this just to show you how it's it's almost chip-like. It's very flaky, but on the inside it's like a like a potato. So it's got lots of body. Mm. It just amplifies. It gives you texture and body and crunch when you bite into it. It's satisfying. It's a little messy, but worth it. Moving on to the India, and this one is maybe the most visually impressive because look how stacked it is. One big difference that I'm noticing between the India and the Especial, which I just had, the Especial had a layer of plantains at the bottom, which added a little bit of sweetness that I'm actually missing on this one. So plantains in arepas make a huge difference. Mm. You hear that crunch, and I promise you, you're not paying extra for avocado. It just, it just comes with it. Moving on to the last one here. Now, this is their vegan option, and they actually have a lot of vegan options on their menu. I gotta say, I've seen a lot of vegan food in my time. This actually looks insanely satisfying. I'm also gonna pair it up with this homemade hot sauce that they've been making for a long time. I don't even know where to attack it from, but it's just... Mmm. 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 I should have really underestimated how spicy that was. Uh, still very good. <laughs> this is uh, this is pretty satisfying to bite into. Because no matter what the arepa has inside of it, you're getting that crunch, you're getting that satisfaction, and this almost feels like a, a much more elaborate samosa, if I could compare it to anything else. But there's just so much more going on. All right, final thoughts here. Even though the vegana and the India had a ton more stuffed into it, I gotta give it up to the Especial because I love the mix of the plantains and the arepas and the pulled beef just comes together so well. This is it, this is my favorite. All right, now that I've had a chance to actually try the arepas, I've got to ask the owner, what's the story behind Bocadillos and how did you manage to bring Venezuelan cuisine to Montreal? We actually, when we opened, they didn't know what was an arepa. For them, it was a strange sandwich. Venezuelan cuisine is very hard. It's very complicated. It's time consuming. Everything takes time, even the juices. But all the meats are marinated 24 to 48 hours. That's the way we, we brought it from Venezuela. We uh, do the same uh, style. We don't cut corners. We're very proud of uh, our cuisine. That's awesome. Okay, one last question. How can people order arepas from you right now? We are on the platforms. We are the, the EVA, that's a new app here in Montreal. We love those guys. We actually checklist, install an application on the website where you can order for the pickups. And of course you have Uber, DoorDash, and uh, Skip the Dishes. And that is it for this episode of Good Bites Takeout. Thank you for making it to the very end. And now the next time that you're hungry for something that's a little bit different outside of your wheelhouse, you have an option, Bocadillos. All right, listen, if you're still hungry, don't worry about it. I'm gonna be back next week with a brand new place that you can order some takeout from. See you then.